one of the most exciting announcements to come out of E3 this year is Gears of War Judgment. We reached out to our friends at Epic Games to find out more. You and your squad might have killed a lot of locusts today, Lieutenant. But this war has only just begun. One of our big design goals for Gears of War Judgment was to expose the players to a time period they haven't had access to before. So it's really a prequel about a couple of weeks after E-Day, essentially 14 years prior to Gears of War 1, and you get to visit a time when Baird was actually a lieutenant with his own squad called Kilo Squad with Cole. And so this is a way for the players to get into that and dig deep into Baird's background and understand his history. I hereby charge Kilo Squad with desertion, cowardice, trespassing, the theft of experimental military technology and treason. Does that sound about right to you, Lieutenant Baird? Judgment is actually kind of unique in the Gears of War franchise because it kind of has a, a different style of gameplay. It's not the sort of scripted cinematic way that we've played Gears 1, 2, and 3. It's a lot more uh, open and it's actually because of this openness it's got a really high replayability as well. And so it's a, it's a twist on the Gears of War franchise that I think the players are really going to love. So one of the things I'm really excited about the players getting their hands on in Gears of War Judgment is Overrun. And what Overrun is, is this class-based multiplayer mode that's asymmetric between the Locust classes, which are totally designed for offensive capabilities, and then over here we have the COG classes, which are very much designed for defense. And to be able to give our players that uh, experience in Gears of War for the first time is what really has me excited. Foundation, Overrun is a class-based attack and defend game mode, with the gears on defense and the locusts on the attack. This is the first time a class-based system has ever been used in a Gears of War game. You can play as an engineer, scout, soldier, or medic on the cog side. The engineer can repair fortifications with his blowtorch and deploy automated turrets. The soldier provides ammo boxes for the team and carries a boom shot by default. The medic can deploy stim gas grenades to heal teammates, but better yet, she can revive teammates when they're down. The scout can climb onto sniper perches and throw tag beacons to spot enemies for his team. Now on the locust side, you can play as a ticker, wretch, grenadier, cantus, bloodmount, corpser, Mauler, and Seraph. Each Locust character has special abilities, such as the Cantus's healing, the Corpser's burrowing, and the Ticker's speed dash. So the inspiration for Overrun really came from talking with fans and the press after we announced Gears of War 3. People kept asking, how come you can't play Horde versus Beast? And actually we had tried it and certain things about it just didn't quite work the way we wanted for 3. So when we had a chance to have a new product with Gears of War Judgment, we said, let's revisit that and see what we need to do to make that work. And sure enough, this class-based system really solidified that design and makes it work really well. Yeah. Fans are really going to enjoy it. It's a fresh take on Gears multiplayer, and it's the marquee mode for Gears of War Judgment. 